Moving along here today on the Don't Tell Mama Sports Podcast, we got our Scuba Steve team, deep dive of the week. We got a juicy one here, Max. We got the New York Yankees. Ah, okay. the fucking okay. Yankees. We, you know, everybody yeah. everybody loves, loves the Yankees. You know, we got to talk about them here. We got to find out what's going on. We got to find out what's going on here. Yeah. Now, these stats, these... The, all these numbers are updated as of yesterday morning, Tuesday, the 19th. Their record, 50 and 45, five games over 500, plus 16 run differential. Okay. Solid. Yeah. But guess what? They're last in the division, Ooh, Max. Wow. They're last in the division. Nine wow. games back of the Rays. Nine games back of the Rays. Okay. And only two and a half games back of the final wildcard berth. Two okay. and a half games back of the final wildcard berth. Okay. They're still in it. They're definitely still in it. Max, trivia time for you. Now, I don't expect you to get this, but can you give me in a range the last time the Yankees were in last in the AL oh. East? Oh, my goodness. That, Just, that's, it, I don't know if that's an all right time. Any point in the season. Well, oh, geez. Just any point in the season. It could have been, it could have been the second week. Could have been, they could have been three and nine in the second week and been last, you know? Woo. Ah, jeez. I'm just going to, Toss out a number. I'm going to say after Derek Jeter retired, 2012-ish, 2012-ish. So I'll guess, uh, but 1990, 1990 oh, was, was the last time, was the last time the Yankees were by themselves, sole possession at the bottom of the AL East. But the main reason that we're talking about the New York Yankees this week is because they came to Colorado this weekend. They were, they were in town playing the Rockies. And damn it, I went, I went on Sunday nice. and we saw Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant finally played. He finally, he's finally healthy. We had Wilson on here a couple of weeks ago, said he's been to 10 games, never seen Chris Bryant once. Finally got to see Chris Bryant get up there. He, he hit a little shit shot in the first inning. He got, he finally got a hit in the third. Get him. Ended up one for five in the day, Max. What do you think about Chris Bryant? He's done. <laughs> period. I, I risk, period. He's done. Okay. Just uh, just quickly about the game real quick. The Yankees took a 3-1 lead into the bottom of the eighth. That's when C.J. Crone got up, hit a grand salami Ooh, in nice. the bottom, bottom of the eighth yeah. off, of, off of my guy, Clay Holmes. This is the first homer that Clay Holmes has allowed this season, actually. Uh, that's impressive. That's that's very impressive. Yeah. Going to the ninth inning, Rockies are up two. Yankees get two more. Glaber Torres gets gets one in. Oh, amazing. Uh and then so we go to extra innings. Go into mm -hmm. the eleventh inning. Um Yankees get two more in the top of the eleventh. So they're up two. Going to the bottom, Nolan Jones smacks a two run homer. Rookie Nolan Jones smacks a two run homer to tie it. Next batter, Alan Trejo. This is his 128th plate appearance. No home runs. This guy smacks one out for a walk-off. Wow. 11th inning dinger to win the game. Rockies take two of three from the Yankees. Let's not sleep mm. on that. Yankees two and eight in their last 10. Eesh. Max, what do you think about those late game fireworks? That's an amazing game to go to. Those are the games you want to go to in baseball. Yeah. It's it's the exciting home runs. I mean, the, the higher the score, the better, obviously. Uh, so that, that's, that's a hell of a game to go to, man. That that's exciting. Yeah. Yankees, man, they're sl They it's, I'm not a Yankees fan. In fact, I don't like them at all because they buy all their players. So I'm not, I, I, I don't like that. I, I'm not, I'm not a, a big fan of teams. They have so much money. They can just buy whatever they want. LA Dodgers. You're another one of those teams. Uh, so screw them. Go, go Rockies on that one. I'm glad they took two out of three. Oh yeah. Go Rockies. But this ain't a Scuba Steve team deep dive on the Rockies. It's on, on the Yankees. So let's talk uh, some hitting stats here, Max. Yeah. Let's find out why they're in the basement here of the AL East. Okay. Their batting stats, Max, they're outside the top 17 in oh. batting average, on-base percentage, OPS, run scored, hits, ribbies, total bases, walks, and stolen bases. That's all but three categories wow. outside the top 17. That is a shocker. I will say... Probably the reason why is Aaron Judge has been out for a while. He's been out a long time. It might be a few months, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so Six, eight when weeks, you're, maybe. 
when your MVP is out, you're going to struggle a bit. So, yeah. Max, their only batter ranked in the top 200 in our Yahoo Fantasy Head-to-Head Categories League. They only have one. That's Glaber Torres, the second mm-hmm. baseman, ranked 96th. He went two for six on Sunday. So, all right game, I guess. I but guess. surprisingly, that's it. Aaron Judge, he's uh, you mentioned he's been out. Been ranked out. 200, 207th. He's been out for a while. Anthony Rizzo, though, Max, first baseman, ranked 286th, went oh, over yeah. 4 on Sunday with a couple pop-ups. All right, thanks. Couple whiffs. Come on, we go! And then, can you tell me anything about John Carlo Stanton, the outfielder ranked 967th? He also went 0 for 4 on Sunday. Now he got a hold of one in the seventh that uh, people pe- people got on their feet for. <laughs> almost, almost went out, but John Carlos Stanton ranked 967th. Doesn't look like he has any pop to that bat anymore. It just, he used to be able to check swing that ball over the fence. And in Colorado, you're saying that, oh, he almost got one. That means he is, maybe he's not, maybe he's not weightlifting as much. You know, maybe he's doing the Zion Williamson workouts, just band training, just doing some bands, <laughs> just doing some bands. <laughs> it's a bummer. Cause I, I really enjoyed watching Jane Carlos Stanton uh, in his prime it, in, uh, in Miami. That It was awesome to see him, be, you know, but Hey, you go to the Yankees. Sometimes that's what happens when you go to this New York team, the fans are dirtier, they're meaner. They'll throw popcorn at you. Uh, you know, that, Shohei, real quick, Shohei, don't go to the Yankees. Okay, just a quick shout out to Shohei. Don't go to the Yankees, please. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're right. Bats aren't getting it done. Let's see what's going on with the pitching. Now they let's remember they got a 50 and 45 record. Yeah, five games over 500. They're in contention for a playoff berth Mm -hmm. berth here. They're pitching. They're top nine in half of the pitching categories. They're top nine in ERA. Mm -hmm. Hits allowed, earned runs, on-base percentage allowed, and whip. Top nine in those five, that's pretty solid. Very good. Getting done on the mound right now. Excuse me. Domingo Herman, he's ranked 70th because of his perfect game. Remember? Perfect game. The the 24th perfect game in MLB history. Amazing. That's That's the reason he's ranked 70th. We got Clay Holmes that I already mentioned. He, My guy on my team, ranked 144th. Gave up his first homer, um, the grand salami, to C.J. Crone. Ouch. But, Max, the main reason I decided to go to the Sunday game instead of the Friday or Saturday is because Garrett Cole was mm. on the mountain for the Yankees. Nice. Okay. Very nice. This horse, I had to see this animal out of the out of the pen. He had 11 strikeouts in six mm. innings. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. He came up. He struck out the side in the third. He got two more in the fourth. And he got two more in the fifth. So no one's getting any hits. He did allow early Homer ends up getting a no decision, but boy, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't think I've ever seen 11 strikeouts from one guy at a game that nice. I've been to. Yeah. Eric Cole was mowing boys down. 
It was really something to watch. Such an incredible pitcher. So good. Anything else about those pitching stats, Max? Man, uh, the pitching stats are outstanding. They're looking good. It's the hitting that's usually the Yankees don't struggle with. You know, being a part of a hitter's ballpark where you can throw the ball over the fence from catch, from the catcher spot, uh, you would have thought that these numbers would be flying off the charts. Okay, but that is why they are losing. That's why you're in last place. They don't have the hitters. So are they buying or are they selling Cole Breezy coming this trade deadline? Uh, can I, can I be a queef and say neither? <laughs> I think they might just be standing pat, hoping that Judge comes back, gives them a spark. Mm -hmm. Rizzo and Stanton wake up. I yeah. I pick I picked these guys to win the division at the start of the season. I don't think that anymore. And we've done a few of these Scuba Steve team deep dives and you know, I've picked a couple teams to make the playoffs, so you can't pick every team to make the playoffs. I'm going to no. say the Yankees miss out on yes. the playoffs this year. Yes. I agree. I think there's too many good teams in that division mm -hmm. and the teams that aren't going to make it I think are the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees. So Sorry about you. I, I can very well see a situation where the whoever wins the division, let's say the Rays and then the Orioles, the Yankees, and the Blue Jays grab the next three wild cards. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. I could I could see a situation where four teams out of this division go to the playoffs. Best we'll division. See. Of baseball. We'll see. They deserve it. it. It's it's a hell of a division.